Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be looking at the fillet and the chamfer tools. Now they are important because they allow us to like cut off sharp edges or to connect two pieces of material smoothly. So let's go in here and draw uh, two rectangles. Actually, when we make them squares, we'll do 50 tab 50 for this one, and press enter. And then we will do another rectangle, we'll press R, and we will actually select a center point rectangle here, and that way we can just find this, the midpoint of this whole thing, and just make this one, we'll make it 15 by 15, and press enter. Now we are going to press Q, which is our press pull button, and also you can find that right here. Um, but we're going to select this outer side, and we're going to bring that up by 20 millimeters, and press enter. Now, if you find that you press Q again, you can't actually bring up that inner square. There's nothing there. You could only bring up or down the outside that you've already made. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cancel that. We're going to go over to our sketches here, and we're going to turn on that sketch. Now that we can see this, we can press Q again or click the extrude button. And we're just going to select that sketch, and we're going to bring it up. So 50 looks good enough, and press enter. So I'm going to hide that sketch once more just so that it makes it a little clearer. So what we're looking at is the fillet and the chamfer tool. Chamfers are bevels that are straight cuts, whereas fillets are rounded with a radius. So let's say we wanted to make this like a, you know, like the, like an arch, basically. Well, what we can do is we know that the width of this is 15 millimeters. We can even go up here to our little inspect and just click on this. And you can see this length is 15 millimeters. So if we want to make this completely rounded off from the top, we need to fill it on both sides. Now, what you'll find out is that to be able to actually do this properly, the fillet gives a radius. So a radius, if you can kind of visualize it, from this, this like one quarter of a circle, you see that the radius here is 4.5 millimeters. It goes from this edge in 4.5 millimeters. So if we want to completely round off the top, then we need to take half of the width of this and make that our radius. Half of the width of 15 is 7.5. And there you go. If we were to go here and select one and just try to do the one side, you see obviously it won't curl in. It's going to, it's only going to um, fill it the one side. Now you'll also, I think this is a better representation of how it works because you can kind of visualize here that this is one quarter of a circle with a radius of 15 millimeters. So from this point right here, it will be 15 millimeters to any point on this corner circle. So there we go. We'll just cancel that. Now, it's also useful for connecting two materials or two, two uh, surfaces smoothly. So we will go here and we'll select a fillet once more. And we can select the point between these. Oh, I'll de deselect that. We'll select the point between these two surfaces. Now, that edge will say like, we can actually just drag it out and look at it. So you can see it makes a nice smooth transition between the two. So that way, if you're like, let's say 3D printing like we do, um, this helps adhere the layers together because if you have just a sharp corner, then that's more likely to break off at that point if it's under tension or stress. And so here we can see that, all right, if, if it's going to be smooth up, it's going to adhere better. And also it can protect from like cutting yourself on a sharp edge or something. So if we just filleted the entire outside of this, with a small fillet, it doesn't have to be large, but like a one millimeter fillet or, you know, something like that is just enough to take off that sharpness and make it a smooth transition from one side to the next, and therefore you're in a safer position. Additionally, we're going to be looking at the chamfer tool here. Chamfers are a little bit different. Now, chamfers are straight. Um, it's a, another way of transitioning between two surfaces, but unlike a fillet, this one is going to be a straight cut. And so here basically it tells you the distance that it's going to be chamfering, and it depends on if you're adding a chamfer or subtracting a chamfer. So we'll go here and select these edges, 
and you'll see that you're not adding but you're actually subtracting and it and so it's like a one by one square like so you can see there that's one millimeter over one millimeter up and it's always going to be like that so oh, and if you go too far then it will give you an error you know it's the fillet size is, is too big or the chamfer size is too big so pretty much they're good for connecting two surfaces in a more seamless manner and also for making things appear more refined and prettier I suppose and they're also just for um, you know safety so they have multiple uses and depending on what you're looking to design it can be very helpful to use these tools they are pretty simple to use and they require you know a little bit of understanding how they work but overall like you can get right into using these without having to really grow go in depth with them and, and be able to understand that all right this looks good I'm going to leave it here type of thing so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe comment down below what you'd like to see next and we'll see you in the next video